So, with a new Stalker game in about four months from when this video is being edited, I decided to play Into the Radius. Now, I was originally going to do with only double barrel shotguns, but I eventually decided to do knives only instead, as it would be more entertaining for you guys to watch. So, enjoy. If you can't tell by the clip that is currently playing in the background, I forgot to turn off the tutorial. Upon arriving at the base, I empty all of my bullets onto the turret. When I arrive at my room, I take the only mission that was available to me, and I grab all of the stuff in there to sell. Over in Pervame, or however it's pronounced, I take care of my first two enemies with relatively no trouble, and I grab the watch. After I drop off the watch, I am forced to complete a training course because I forgot to turn off the tutorial. After that, I head back to Pervame to grab the film for the second quest. After grabbing all the ammo from this jeep, I discovered that you can get inside them if they have their trunk open. Upon getting home and selling everything, cleaning a few guns to sell, I put in a cassette tape and it turns out it was music and it was not absolute garbage, so I sat by the fire a while and listened to it. After that, I headed back into Pervame to do a few side quests, that way I could unlock the whole Balotki quest. I did enough quests in one go to get the quest in Balotki. I decided that I would take the sniper tower route to Balotki, and I killed this mimic policeman with a throw from the ladder. I grabbed the Spetsnaz survival knife from the truck at the entrance to Balotki. Massacring everybody in Balotki village was actually a lot easier than I expected it would be. The almighty Todd Howard decided to punish me for playing something other than a Bethesda game this week by stealing my knife out of my hands. The almighty Todd Howard then deemed his punishment too cruel and gave me another Spetsnaz survival knife. I then took the documents back to base, and I turned them in and had to go through another training course. I then went back to Balotki to do the Flash in the Dark mission, and it turns out that the casting website only lets you see through one eye of the gas mask. So, after that, I did a few side quests in Pervame. After those side quests, I made the journey through Balotki, and I went to Probita Factory, or Pobita Factory, however you pronounce it, to get the tape recorder. I then found a Spetsnaz survival knife, but the footage... I don't know what happened to it, it's just horrible. I did a side quest, and then I took inventory of all the stim packs and knives I had before buying more, because next up was the intrusion. I actually decided to go to the factory via the Pervame route, that way I would be spawned in closer to the factory rather than a lot further, like I usually do, by entering from Balotki. In the factory, I head straight for the bomb because if you don't grab it, I'm pretty sure there's no way for you to get into the room. Getting in wasn't actually the hard part. Getting to the stairs wasn't the hard part. Having to tilt my head and move forward at the perfect angle to fix me loading inside of the wall wasn't the hard part. The hard part 
was getting into the room. It took one of the armored mimics to retreat and for the two mimics to stand in the corner and merge with each other. That way they could not shoot to actually allow me to get anywhere near the door. After that, I grabbed the absurdly heavy container that you can't just take the documents out of, and I make my way back home by way of the Pervame route. After turning in the box of documents, I had to repair basically everything I had that could be repaired. After that, I had to restock on stim packs and knives, and then I had to do a bunch of quests. And I mean about an entire hour's worth of side quests, which is a lot when it comes to side quests, but I think most of it was probably me hunting for, like, three heavy helixes. After those side quests, I went to restock on stim packs and buy a lot of knives because next up was a farewell feast. And I also bought everything I needed for the quest at the store because it would be a lot faster than searching for it all while being hunted by the BTR and a bunch of mimics with guns and armor. Once I made it to the village, after killing a few things like a seeker and having a mimic soldier retreat, I went straight into the house, put all the stuff on the table, grabbed the artifact, and ran for my life. This unmarked poles location tricked me into thinking it would take me home because it gave me the, oh, it looks like it will lead me somewhere, prompt, and then it took me to the factory. After that, I went back, and then I went to Balotki, and then I went back home. After that came an extremely large amount of side quests, and they were pretty difficult. I had one where I had to clear out some sliders, and some I just straight up went back to base because I didn't want to do them, because Mastasis, Mastasis? however it's pronounced, wanted me to go essentially do the intrusion all over again, which I was not doing. After that was Kids Playground, which actually didn't go too bad. Like, I killed a few guys. I was able to just mostly avoid the ones that I wasn't able to. I used my headlamp on the two trains spawned the shadow one outside, and I was able to get the artifact. However, I was not able to ride the train out to the base because of the whole group of enemies that were over there. Like, there was a mimic marksman on the bridge with a tiger rifle, a slider, a phantom, and then there was a guy with an assault rifle, I think. After getting back to base and restocking on stim packs, repairing my armor, and grabbing more knives, I was off to do, guess what? Even more side quests. And this time, they took me longer than ever before. They were harder than ever before. And it was just not a good time. This recording is still me doing side quests. It spanned over two days, and at the end of this recording, my controller died, so I had to replace the batteries, and I also had to fix the drift on it because the drift was getting out of hand. After getting back to base, I bought a ton of supplies. I bought a bunch of stim packs, I bought a bunch of knives, and I repaired my armor and stuff. 
After that, I head to Pachorsk Castle by way of Kolkaz Zarya. I hope I, I pronounced that right. My experience with the castle was like walking through a sea of lava with concrete shoes on while being gassed while being shot at with demons teleporting towards me. That would be probably the best description of my experience with the castle in this run. After a while, I make it to the center of the castle where I die quite a few times and then I sit behind some boxes and have a mental breakdown in the middle of my living room. Eventually, I get an idea. My idea was to rush the guy in front of the wall, forcing the others to retreat, and then from there I could run up the stairs, kill the guy right up there, and then run as fast as I possibly could, just drop just about everything I had, and run. And you know what? My plan, my completely crazy plan, it worked. I got their forces to retreat. They retreated into this little area in the wall of the castle, still on the ground level. And from there, I was able to run up the stairs, kill the guy up there, force the other one to retreat, and then, since I was very light from dropping all of my stuff, besides, you know, knives and stim packs, I was able to run past the rest of them. And then, from then on, there were no more enemies, and I was able to actually grab the artifact. After that, I sat through the monologue at the end of the game, and without any hesitation, I shot Katya, because after what my guy just went through, he deserves to be free to have a normal life. Well, that is going to be it for this challenge video. Um, if you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing, maybe leaving a comment your opinion on the video, but overall, this challenge was pretty fun up until the castle and the extreme amount of side quests I had to do before the castle, but if you do plan on doing this challenge, charge at the enemies with your knives, it helps so much. And I need time to mentally recover from this challenge. But next time I do a VR challenge, I will be using PC VR because I figured out how to get that to work for games I bought on my Quest 2. That way it's not this laggy and it actually looks a lot better. But I will see you next time. Uh, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.